plastic cup here to do to do to plastic cup here to do to do to in plastic bin. Bottles here to do to do to do bottles here to do to do to do bottles here to do to do to in that glass bin. Newspapers here to do to do to newspapers here to do to do to newspapers here to do to do to in paper bin. Let's recycle to do to do to let's recycle to do do to do let's recycle to do do to do let's recycle. Let's recycle to do do to do. Don't forget the sunscreen, kids. Huh? What? Uh oh. What's Doctor Spooky doing here? He's released some robot insects. And they're putting chips into the people at the beach's heads. What's your plan this time? He has a baton. Oh, and he can control everyone who has a chip with it. He's so evil. He's making everyone get the beach dirty. No, kids, don't litter. Oh my gosh, you're so bad, Dr. Spooky. No, 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 we have to do something. What a disaster. Dr. Spooky is destroying the environment. Someone stop him. Yay, there's the Super Zoo team. Aha! If we can remove the chips from the people, they will stop obeying Dr. Spooky's orders to litter to the transformation capsules! Deserve, Doctor Spooky. Monkey and Kangoo made a springboard to reach Doctor Spooky. What a good idea! Go get him, Kangoo. We have to get the baton away from him. What? Why do you want to draw a portrait of Doctor Spooky, Kangoo? How vain. Oh, now I get it. You're trying to distract him. Ha ha! Monkey swapped the baton with a banana. See you later, Dr. Spooky. Let's go, Super Zoo team. We have to remove the chips from the people's heads before Dr. Spooky catches up to you. Now 
now Caddy has control. And she's going to make the minions help clean up the beach. But where does each kind of trash go? Kangoo has the answer. Glass goes in the green bin, paper in the blue one, and plastic in the yellow one. It's time to recycle. Let's go, kids. We need to clean the beach. And Dr. Spooky can't do anything to stop it. You'll think twice next time. Everyone works together and leaves the beach spotless. Remember to do it too, kids, when you go enjoy a day by the sea. The environment will be eternally grateful. One more thing. Ha-ha! Bye-bye, Dr. Spooky. It feels so great to take care of our planet. Welcome to Kit's Learning Corner. Today we're going to learn about recycling. I'm sure you've seen different colored bins close to your house. Those are for recycling, and the colors tell us what kind of recycling goes in each. Food scraps and other waste that's organic, which means it comes from living things, should go into the general dumpster. The trash in the recycling bins are taken to a recycling plant. There, the material is melted down or turned into paper. Afterward, this melted material is used to make new items we can use. The best thing about this process is that it can be done over and over. Come on, kids, let's recycle. Let's save the environment together. <laughs> This is awesome! Cowabunga! <laughs> yeah, Kangoo! <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> but what? <gasps> what just happened? <laughs> the ocean is drying up! <laughs> Aha! Look out there! That's Dr. Spooky's robot! Let's tell the mermaids! Girls, you're not gonna believe what... Oops! Okay, I think you noticed. How can you be so evil, Dr. Spooky? We have to do something, Super Zoo Team! the robot. If we unscrew that screw, the backpack will open and the water will flow back into the ocean. Great! To the transformation capsules! to the ocean, Dr. Spooky. Get ready. What a good idea, monkey. He's really high up. He's carefully preparing. He's gaining momentum. Lots of momentum. Off. What a great landing! Give us one of your drawings, Kangoo! What a good idea! A tool to loosen the screw! 
Let's go, Kangu! That's it! Good job! Oh no! What does that button do? Be careful, monkey! No! Kangu, you have to hurry up! Yeah, you did it, Kangu! <laughs> See you later, Dr. Spooky! But uh, where is Monkey? Oh, there he is! It seems he's been making some new friends! And there's Kangu! Hello again, my mermaid friends! We're happy you're okay! The ocean is perfect now for playing cards. But no cheating. I always play clean. I always play clean. Write that one down, Dr. Spooky. Welcome to Kit's Learning Corner. Today we'll learn a new way to help the ecosystem. We brush our teeth every day, or at least we should. And sometimes when we are brushing, we leave the tap running. We waste lots and lots of water this way. Hey everybody! With something as simple as turning off the water while we brush, we can make the world a better, more sustainable place. That's it, kids. Great! If we change little things in our day-to-day -day lives, we can help our planet. Let's save the environment together! Dr. Spooky is having a picnic. Yuck! He's gonna eat a greasy hamburger. Oops, guess not. How about that milkshake? Nope, not that either. Will he be able to eat the ice cream? Ha-ha! <laughs> In your dreams. Wow, Dr. Spooky doesn't like nature at all. And nature doesn't like Dr. Spooky at all either. What's this? Why is he summoning his robot? Wait a minute, Dr. Spooky is uprooting all the trees in the forest with his robot. Yes, Granny, just as you can see, Dr. Spooky's up to his shenanigans again. Let's go, Super Zoo Team. We have to stop him. Kids, show us how on your computer. Aha! Caddy and Monkey need to press that button to control the robot. To the transformation capsules! Watch out! No! What? Wait a second! Great! Monkey has stopped the trees! Now we're going to protect the environment! Nice aim, Caddy! Yeah. 
See you later, Dr. Spooky. Great job, Caddy. You're the best. Now what, Dr. Spooky? There's the button. Don't let him get away. Ha-ha! <laughs> gotcha! Go. Come on, Caddy! It's time to bring the forest back to life! We have to replant! Get up, Mr. Robot! We have to fix what Dr. Spooky messed up! Tree by tree, the forest goes back to being what it was, and no evil human will damage it again. Lovingly, everything is put back into place, and the Super Zoo team wins again! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Nature is precious! That's why we have to take care of it! <laughs> Welcome to Kit's Learning Corner! Today we're going to learn about deforestation. The disappearance of plants is called deforestation. The trees are the shield that keeps pollution from reaching the atmosphere. Unfortunately, the levels of pollution keep rising and there are less and less trees. If there are no trees to keep the clouds of pollution in check, the sunbeams can't bounce back into space and are trapped on Earth. This is why the temperature is going up uncontrollably. Pollution makes us sick. Many living creatures also lose their homes when trees disappear. But it's not too late. How can we end deforestation? Planting trees and taking care of those that already exist. Picking up all of our trash to keep the trees from getting sick. Learning to love nature and showing all of our friends to do the same. Let's save the environment together! Let's collect the apple harvest! Everyone is helping! It's so fun! Aha! But of course the evil Dr. Spooky is spying on them and it seems like he's had an idea! Hmm. What's he thinking? Is that a spider? Oh, careful little spider. What are those drops? The spider is growing. Oh no! Dr. Spooky has created an evil, gluttonous spider, just like him! Back to the harvest! Why is it so windy all of a sudden? Dr. Spooky is here! He's releasing his minions! What is his plan? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was it. They're releasing dozens of gluttonous spiders into the orchard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh no! The spiders are going to eat all the apples! Be careful, Kit! Oh! Monkey is really scared of the spiders! Oh! Come on, Granny. There must be something we can do. Bad spider. 
What's wrong, kid? Spider invasion! Run! It's time to make a magic potion. Let's go, wise granny. Let's fix this problem. A little bit of essence of cilantro. A dash of thousand-year acorn. A squirt of sweet orange juice. And the secret ingredient, a huge dose of love. A few drops of potion and... The spider is good again. <laughs> oh, Dr. Spooky, you're so bad. <laughs> Don't send more minions. There's Granny. She put her potion into the tank. And everyone is going to collaborate so that the plan works. Hey. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Give it some gas, Groovy. Oh, no. The tractor broke down. Come on, kids. We need to come up with another plan. The minions won't stop releasing spiders. <laughs> to the lab. <laughs> Super transformation. <laughs> Super strength. <laughs> Monkey did it! The spiders are becoming good again! <laughs> the harvest is back to normal! And the minions got what they deserved! See you for the next adventure! <laughs> Caddy? Wow, let's not bother Caddy. She's doing her daily Tai Chi training. What's that red dot? I have no idea. But Caddy loves it. It's Dr. Spooky. And the red dot is nothing more than the light from his laser pointer. Careful, Caddy. It's all part of Dr. Spooky's plan. Oh, no! To the cat soaker! You're so evil, Dr. Spooky. What do you think, Granny? Aha! Let's see what your idea is. And on top of that, he's making fun of Caddy. We have to give him what he deserves. Dr. Spooky is fleeing towards his ship. But what? Granny? Ha ha ha! What a great plan! Bad deeds have their consequences, Dr. Spooky. You'll think twice next time. Or maybe not. Aha! Today is St. Valentine's Day. What a lovely day! Not for Dr. Spooky. No letters, no postcards, not a single thing to cheer him up. Poor doctor.
what's going on over at the Super Zoo Team Sanctuary. <laughs> wow, everyone's mailboxes are full. <laughs> Oh no, every time that Dr. Spooky thinks of something, it's an evil idea. Hmm, he's pointing at Cupid. He's up to something. Uh oh, Dr. Spooky's going towards his lab. What a pretty heart. Love is so beautiful. So, Dr. Spooky, stop smashing it. Wow, he must really hate love. It's evil extract. And now what? He's multiplied the arrows. And he's called one of his minions. What is going on behind that curtain? Look what we have here. It's a Cupid minion with an amazing wig, I have to say. That was the plan, to shoot enemy-making arrows. Right. There goes the minion to disturb the peace of the sanctuary. He takes aim and... Bullseye! Now Monkey is mad and doesn't want to give the ball back to Caddy. Poor Caddy doesn't understand a thing. And now she's angry too. No, kids, don't fight. <laughs> Dr. Spooky, that's so bad and evil, more than you think. And there he goes again. His new target is Kit. He looks really mad. <laughs> Now it's Raccoon's turn. Whoa, Furious Raccoon. What a crazy situation. And Dr. Spooky is really getting a kick out of it. He's so evil. Come here, Granny. You have to see this. Isn't this incredible? Careful, Granny. The minion is a good shot. She caught the arrow. Let's study it in the kitchen. There are the evil particles. But with Granny's recipe, they're sure to disappear. A little bit of essence of cilantro. A dash of thousand-year-old acorn. A squirt of sweet orange juice. And the secret ingredient, a huge dose of love. It's stirred with the wand. And the only thing missing is a fairy costume. <laughs> Granny's magic makes them friends again. I love hugs. They're so nice. We're going to beat you, Dr. Spooky. 
Come on, monkey and catty. You need to stop arguing. That's much better. That friendship can't be destroyed. Your magic is unbeatable, Granny. Super Zoo friends, the power and love are ours. What? There are still arrows left? Ha-ha! Uh? <laughs> <laughs> but Caddy blocks it. And now the minion tries to flee very quickly. But Granny reaches him with her love potion. Dr. Spooky, we have a surprise for you. Your minion couldn't resist. Super love attack. Let's go, Dr. Spooky. Give in to your loving minion. What? Five to nine? Kids start school at nine. Oh gosh, he's going to be late. There's no time to lose. Let's go, kid. Get your backpack and your books. There's the bus. Faster, kid. Nice flight. Ouch! Get up, kid. No, the bus left. Aha, Granny always has the answer. Let's go, kid. We have to catch the bus. Hey, Mr. Driver, stop the bus. It's Monkey and Raccoon. Guys, stop the bus. Finally. Phew. Kit will make it to school on time. Um, are you sure it's this way, kids? Uh-oh, we've entered evil Dr. Spooky's compound. I told you, there's that scoundrel. And he's thrown some spikes onto the road. One of the tires blew out. Oh, and where are we now? We need a stroke of good luck. And that stroke's name is Patty. Express Roadside Assistance Service. Let's keep going. We're almost to the school. <laughs> Run, kid. Oh, no. He didn't get there on time. What? Of course. It was all a dream. It's 7.15. There's still plenty of time before the school opens. What a relief, kid. What a beautiful day. The flowers are happily soaking up the sun and some beautiful butterflies land on top of them. What? Wait a second. Why is everything turning gray all of a sudden? Where is all this smoke coming from? Ah, look up, butterfly. Everything is polluted. There are our friends from the Super Zoo team. Aha! Just as I suspected, this is the work of the evil Dr. Spooky. There's that villain. Let's go to the laboratory. We have to find a solution. Kit, let's see what your supercomputer says. Hmm. 
Hmm, I think I know where you're going with this. We have to plug the ship's exhaust pipe. Aha, and that way the cloud of smoke will disappear. What a great plan. To the transformation capsules. Wait a minute, you have to be protected. With this bubble, the pollution can't hurt you. Now we're ready, Super Zoo Team! Aha, there's Dr. Spooky's ship. And he even has popcorn to watch his horrible show. Get him! <laughs> Oh no, Dr. Spooky is releasing his minions. What's the plan now, Caddy? Throw the pieces of wood at the minions. What a good idea! Yes, we did it! Don't forget the plan. We have to plug the exhaust pipe with one of the pieces of wood. <laughs> Perfect. Monkey throws Caddy towards Dr. Spooky's ship. And Caddy lands after doing a perfect flip just above the exhaust pipe. Done. Haha, <laughs> 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 Dr. Spooky, the tables have turned against you. Bye-bye, you evil man. <laughs> but there's still one thing left to do. Let's go, Granny. Do your magic. <laughs> Granny's magic bubbles get rid of the pollution. How delightful. And all of nature goes back to being full of life, like it should be. <laughs> Blow a giant bubble, monkey. See you next time, Dr. Spooky.